Hello, this is Solar PV TV together with uh, David Spoti, the founder and also inventor of this small tool. And this small tool is the heart of Regal Grid sharing power solution. Uh, buongiorno, Davide. Buongiorno, buongiorno, Thomas. So we are actually at the launch, at the kickoff, official kickoff of the real actual system, which is here at H Farm. And uh, Davide, uh, I would say, is a brain behind the solution. The idea comes uh, from uh, my personal experience. Uh, in the past, uh, I managed companies uh, that were uh, great uh, storage uh, device uh, manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, used to understand the issue and the problem. Uh, what does it mean storing energy? And also I manage company that uh, enabled uh, the PV generation to become uh, more and more convenient uh, and more uh, efficient. efficient in one word, uh, yes. And uh, I have been part of the team worldwide that worked uh, a lot uh, to decrease the cost per kilowatt of uh, the energy generated by the sun. Yeah, and there is uh, actually uh, quite a lot of sun here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's a nice uh, situation. Also so it, it was very interesting because um, we discussed a bit about, uh, let's say, uh, increasing efficiency of uh, modules, of cells, and how expensive it is just, you know, to get a bit gain, yes? And actually, uh, with a regal grid solution, uh, we can uh, economize quite a lot of electricity, yes? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, I, I used to say I spent uh, part of my life uh, to make a big efforts uh, to increase and to gain 0.1, 0.2% of efficiency at the cell level. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that that uh, was possible to win uh, one or 2% at module level, but uh, then in the installation and in the right orchestration of uh, how you install the resources, the generator and the storer, you can win or avoid it to lose uh, a lot, much more, 20, 25 or 30 percent of the energy you, you produce. So uh, Regal Grid, is it, a, let's say, like a cloud uh, solution, yes? Yes. And then this is the heart of the system, but there is also some hardware. So I would like to ask you now, uh, Davide, to present us a bit more information about the hardware. So this is a typical uh, node, we call a node, where you can have in the same time generation, so PV panel on the rooftop, uh, the inverter to convert uh, DC in AC, obviously. And uh, uh, you have a meter to uh, measure what is uh, the production, but also what is the consumption in this uh, location. Uh, actually, this is uh, the standard uh, installation for uh, PV. Uh, what you can add is also storage, but definitely, simply with this uh, very simple hardware, you connect this uh, node to a cloud application that in real time take information, all the information about the generation, storage and consumption from this node and from all the other in the, in the community and uh, receive, uh, thanks to the algorithms uh, working uh, in real time continuously in the cloud, instruction to, to how to manage in the best way for the local community the energy stored or produced in that time. So, Davide, you showed us uh piece of the equipment and of course there is another heart of the system which is the battery, yes? Yes, sure. Energy storage uh, is important uh, to increase the self-consumption, means uh, using more and more of what you generate in a local node. So here we can see a storage uh, lithium-ion uh, from a very famous uh, manufacturer, very available and very convenient in the market, and uh, the recharger that manages the charge or discharge of uh, this uh, energy storage that can be installed in the same time with the PV or later in a second time with the retrofit. What is also important to notice is the SNOCU, the smart node control unit that is uh, dialoguing in real time with the generator, the inverter, and the storage, and uh, detecting, uh, thanks uh, to the meter, all what is happening in this location and communicate uh, to the cloud. Uh, so, Davide, we saw, let's say, the hardware, 
they are of course uh, also solar panels and I would like to ask you so this is like a typical system or you know it can vary depending on the house you may have a different uh, configuration according uh, what is already existing maybe is a brand new installation uh, or uh, there is existing uh, PV or existing also storage so depending on the situation on the size and on the location we uh, can uh, design what is necessary to get part in the energy community in the regal grid energy community in case you have already PV and uh, storage the only missing element is uh, the SNOCU that allows uh, you to get immediately in real time connected to the cloud application, give all the data of generation, storage and consumption and rec receive instruction to give to the local inverter, the local equipment to orchestrate according what is the best situation for the, for the community. Okay, so you are the, let's say, like a dirigent of the orchestra, orchestra. yes? Let's and say optimizer. Optimizer. But you know what I noticed in the, uh, I would not say similar solution, but with other existing solutions that you are rather connected with, with uh, one, let's say, instrument, yes? From one company. And what I noticed, uh, what is very interesting also uh, during today's uh, discussions, that your solution is practically available with different uh, manufacturers, uh, with different uh, products, yes? Yes, definitely. This is very important. Uh, for Regal Grid, uh, we, we don't want uh, to be ourselves the bottleneck of our solution, meaning uh, according the situation, according the hardware, according what kind of inverter of storage is already installed or available at that prosumer, we adapt uh, according to this uh, hardware in order to orchestrate exactly what is needed to be orchestrated. We don't want to be linked or limited by any hardware. What is really important is understand their capture from sensors that are in the, in the SNOCU, the key information about generation, storage and consumption of each node. So, uh, Davide, I noticed that your solution can be, of course, like here, connected to the grid, yes, but uh, it can also work off-grid, yes? Yes, sure. Uh, th this is also a situation that in the same location may happen because sometimes you, for some reason, are in grid and sometimes you are off grid or vice versa. What is again important is understanding what is happening, what is the situation, the self configurability mm -hmm. and the adaptation to the existing situation is a must to be in real time able to optimize the situation. For off-grid, uh, uh, micro-grid, uh, clearly, n normally, you have also a generator different from the sun to compensate, for instance, uh, during the night if the, the battery are not enough or for emergency or for, uh, for continuity, granting continuity, depending mm -hmm. on, this, on the service. And uh, this also is a node that can be orchestrated, oh. activated by Regal Grid. Okay, so who are the customers, actually? So we see many different levels of customer for our solution. For sure, the first uh, we like to start with is uh, the final user. We call it uh, the pro consumer, meaning a producer, store and consumer. The final user of the energy is definitely the one that can immediately can get uh, uh, many advantages from regal grid, but not only, also the grid operat operator or the energy trader or the aggregator, thanks to the fact that in real time you know in for every community which is uh, the status of uh, available uh, state of the charge of local uh, battery you can provide uh, a lot of other services like uh, balancing uh, like uh, uh, dispatching services uh, or uh, frequency regulation and many many other things so actually you are not killing let's say the businesses of utilities yeah you can no, even no, help no, yeah? no 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 we want to cope with everybody on this planet because um, actually uh, we had also quite a lot of discussions uh, together before, let's say, official event about the word for zero, yes? That we are changing completely the paradigm of the society. And I think that also some utilities which will not understand this transition will disappear, yes? So what I believe that maybe with Regal Grid you can bring the competitive advantage to some of them, yes? Sure, sure. Let's say there will be a convergence uh, 
to some level and kind of services uh, that people will want more and more. So utility, grid operator, aggregator, and all this kind of entity will, in my opinion, leverage an opportunity like Regal Grid is now giving uh, to the market. Uh, so we saw them as a potential immediate customer or partner or collaborator because they can be very fast in delivering the advantages of Regal Grid. David, so I think that for today we can, we can finish because uh, we'll meet in a few days in Munich, yes? So today was, let's say, I would say, Italian launch of the system, although we had also people even from Algeria, yes. but the, let's say, international launch will be in a few days in Munich, yes? Sure, sure. Today is very important uh, because uh, we Regal Grid uh, is alive, is uh, kicking and to show touch and see is important because uh, uh, complexity is something, uh, difficulty I is something else. We try to avoid any difficulty and manage the complexity because uh, many to many to be organized in real time is not so easy. But uh, this is uh, done, this is available. The technology phase is done, is finished. Now we open a commercial partnership collaboration phase. We are alive because a peer to peer is important or human to human is important. Mm -hmm. We want to broadcast uh, as uh, much as possible the possibility that the retail grid uh, gives. Ok, grazie mille e ci vediamo a Monaco di Bavaria. Grazie, ci vediamo. Grazie. Ok, thank you so much. That was Solar TV TV uh, from the Sane Sane Treviso with the Sane Sane inventor Davide Spotti, the guy behind this small but I think uh, quite disruptive solution. Thanks for watching.